Hey everyone, so this video is about the book Money, Master the Game, Seven Simple Steps to Financial Freedom written by Tony Robbins. And uh, basically, as the name of the book suggests, it talks about financial freedom and your money. And in this video, I'm going to share with you three things or on ways to become a better and smarter investor, uh, all taken from the book. And Tony Robbins, he actually went to go seek out all of these financial gurus on their advice on how to you know, beat the market or how to become a smarter investor. And he wrote it all in the book. Uh, I read the book and I'm sharing it all with you. All right, so the very first thing that you'll want to do is to buy low cost index funds or something called ETFs. And basically, uh, instead of buying mutual funds, which cost one, two or 3% per year, just to have or to be managed, uh, low cost index funds, they're, they're usually half a percent or even cheaper. Uh, you know, more, some of them are a little bit more expensive, but uh, most of them uh, are cheaper than that. Um, you know, and, and you'll have a range of ETFs. Now, there's two companies that I know of that uh, that sell these uh, ETFs, and one is Vanguard, and the other is BlackRock or uh, iShares. So those are two companies that you might be interested in looking at the products that they have. So as opposed to the mutual funds, switch over to ETFs. Uh, you know, you'll save maybe one or two percent. Per year on your stuff and you know that might not sound a lot but over the long run it can make a difference all right so that's number one number two is to uh, put 90% of your money into equities and 10% into short-term government bonds now that was stated by Warren Buffett himself and he says that most people can't outperform the market and for uh, for anyone who's looking to kind of passively invest, you should uh, just put 90% of your money into equities, which are kind of like uh, stocks, and 10% uh, into uh, short-term government bonds. And obviously you want to uh, buy low-cost index funds that have these. All right, so that's number two. And the last thing that you'll want to do is to dollar cost average. Now that basically means that Every month, you're going to set aside a certain amount of money to invest. Uh, so, example, let's just say you have two thousand dollars to invest every month. Uh, you'll you should, according to Warren Buffett, is you should put ninety percent of that money into uh, equities and ten percent into bonds. And so, every month when you put the two thousand dollars in, uh, you'll move with the market. So, if it goes, if the market goes up, you'll buy. Uh, it's good for you because your stuff is going up, but it's also bad because you know stuff's a little bit more expensive or the uh, things you'd like to purchase are a little bit more expensive. But when it goes down, it's better for you because you can get more shares with your money, right? So basically, that's what low uh, dollar or weighted average dollar cost average is. Uh, you, you just put the same amount of money um, every month into the same things and you'll be moving along with the market and you'll be fine. All right, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want notifications of my videos, uh, subscribe. If you're interested in the book, there's a link down below. And uh, yeah, check out my website at www.bookstakeaway.com if you are interested in other books that I've read. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.